When asked on Twitter, Josh Holmes, the executive producer for 343, said there was no voting or veto system in Halo 5 coming up. The guy who asked it on Twitter was Garage Door Opener, MLG name, straight up. Now, what that means is, they say that there's going to be a rotation system. So if it's something like Battlefield servers had a rotation system where you knew every time what map was coming next, that's nice-ish. Nice -ish. But the problem with that is, is people will still back out the lobby based on the next couple maps because I did it in Battlefield because I wasn't going to play X map or Y map but I really wanted to play these three maps in a row and so you would just play those three maps back out and find a new server about to hit up those next couple maps so if Halo does that that's gonna once again people are still gonna back out the lobby that's the problem with Halo right now in the Master Chief collection is kids just back out because they don't want to play the map and you're not addressing the issue now they can make negatives on why people can or can't back out mid game and shit like that but it might kill the population for the server going up to the next game but that's all speculative whatever I want to stay away from that and I but I want to touch on this thing where games are taking away the, the feature of voting on the maps and vetoing it we started off real good in Halo 3 where you could just you want to play this map if not veto it then we fucking went to Halo Reach where you had three options or no two options and none of the above or something like that it's been a minute since I played Reach which was even better and then Halo 4 had two and then none of the above and Call of Duty had something similar where it was two or none of the above and now we're regressing to you don't even get the pick which which is fine in battlefield but on the pc version of battlefield they actually let them pick if you're in a custom server and they have a voting system but so i don't know uh i'm not really sure and then destiny did fucking they did that bullshit where you can't even pick it just picks for you now that's stupid so the point of this is is i want to know what everybody's thoughts are on picking maps and shit because the negative people keep saying is well i'm tired of people voting for the same map over and over again and i'm like i'm tired of playing on shitty maps over and over again and it's not my fault you fags want to vote for all the doo-doo maps in the game i just want to play the same map over and over again because hey it's a good fucking map uh, you know i'd rather sit here and play the same map you know for an hour straight than play that map once in that hour span and play a couple maps that i actually dislike so whatever it, it's if you want to say the feature to each his own then letting us vote is is to each his own it's a democracy that's how it works in that way the most people get what they want in a rotation system it's not true they they give you the illusion of you get to pick what you want by you can stay in the game or not but it's it's just an illusion you're not really picking you the game has already picked what maps come next so it's a it's a little bit i don't like it so i was wondering what your thoughts on well the, the question is what game did you enjoy the most of the way they picked the next map and for me it was a hybrid it was between battlefield where you could pick the server rotation and you could just bang 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 go to the next because a lot of interesting people came up with an interesting dynamic where you'd play this map then this map and then the next map would be something it would be a little bit different than the last two and then it would evolve over time so it'd be a grand scheme of battling that's what they did in battlefield with with the server browser you could pick the rotation and that worked out really well and then but the old-fashioned halo where hey, you want to play this map or no veto it no i mean it's real simple but i cannot stress this enough the way destiny does it is wrong not letting you pick what map you're about to play is stupid and bullshit that's a fucking fact and i was wondering who all agrees because yeah the negatives i get stuck playing shitty maps but i can back out so the, if the alternative is we just pick the map for you guess what i can still back out so it defeats the entire purpose of changing the system because the negative for the system is still going to be there so it doesn't make any fucking sense but anyway this has been gangster 7 let me know what your thoughts are and tell me what game did you like the most that with the way they had it implemented on how you pick the next map anything but